Are you ready to crack the code for your week ahead? Then pick a pile and let's get it going. Hey, hey, what is up everybody? Ross Cessna from Spiritual Phoenix Studios here. We are gonna do a pick a pile spread. This is for your week ahead. Um, so you can pick one, two, or three. I'm going to show you the piles, and then we will get started with the reading. Okay, so here are your options. You have the blue kyanite on the left. In the center, you have the clear quartz. And on the right, you have the smoky quartz. And look at that smoky quartz. <laughs> it's epic, right? Okay, so let's get it started, and we will start with the blue kyanite. All right, everybody, before we actually look at the blue kyanite, we're going to stop, and we're going to take a deep breath. We're going to breathe in through our nose for eight seconds. We're going to hold it for four, and then breathe out of our mouth for eight seconds. So breathe in. And if you feel better, let me know. So blue kyanite people, the first card you have is the animal spirit card, uh, the lion. This is just encouraging you to be brave, be strong, face your fears. Um, it's going to be a pretty powerful week for you. Uh, just make sure that you stay in your power, right? And if you need uh, like a little symbol or a nudge from the universe, look for symbols of the lion in your day-to-day -day life. And uh, it might be just a little signpost to let you know you're on the right way or on the right path so next card is a roomy oracle card and here's the roomy oracle card for you before death takes what has been given to you you must give away everything you can um, the very concept of that card or what i think it's saying is make sure that you're being generous right um, give a little bit more give a little bit extra might be hard to do this year because this year has been tense for everybody but one of the biggest ways that you can build self-esteem or um, maybe feel better about yourself is doing something nice for somebody else with no expectation of reward and if you do that you'll be pleasantly surprised i promise then you also have seven of wands come up sevens are about faith wands are about creation um, desire manifestation movement this is really, really, um, in my mind, about competition and perseverance, staying strong um, despite everything. So, so far you have be brave, give away more than you take, stay strong, and what is the other one? Transformation. There might be a big shift in attitude coming up for my Blue Kyanite people this week, um, but it's predicated on being strong and being willing to dig a little bit deeper, give a little bit more. Now, with that being said, there are times where we can be so selfless that it's self-destructive, uh, but we have to figure out how to use that energy constructively, right? And this is maybe saying, do something nice for somebody uh, in a small way, and it'll have big ripples. With that said, we are going to go to my clear quartz people next. All right, clear quartz people, let's see what you got. Your spirit animal is the cheetah. This is saying, uh, you might be moving a little bit faster than you need to. Uh, slow down a little bit this week <laughs> and enjoy some of the pacing, right? Uh, you don't need to rush everything. This year has been a very interesting pace because it's been the fastest, longest year of my life. <laughs> um, and this is just kind of saying slow down and maybe savor everything. Renji, come here. Uh, we have a special guest who would like to introduce themselves. Renji says, hello world. Um, I guess she's going to sit on my lap for the rest of this. So the next card for my Clear Quartz people is the Rumi Oracle card that says, The world grows green again and runs with gardens. Jewels from the mines glitter in each tree. The souls open like suns and link with one another. Slow down and savor the people in your life this week. Um, one of the cool things is, with everything going on, we have the option to either be um, distracted or connected. Like I saw a post from one of my homies, Stephanie Capone, and she had kind of asked that question. And it's like, this is really a time where we can connect more deeply because we're cut off from so, from so many of the distractions if we so choose. Um, use this time wisely, right? Next card that comes up, Four of Swords. 
My clear chords people need a break. Um, this is like literally telling you to slow down and smell the roses. Um, rest. Fours are about um, stability. Swords are the mind. This is saying in order to fortify your mind, you need to take breaks. <laughs> um, pretty straightforward. And then sacred union is uh, your oracle card that comes up. The sacred union card to me always speaks of the fact of learning the right balance of everything in life. It's like cultivating that middle path. And if you look, there's these like that spark in the center point. That's kind of the thing between hustle and flow. That's the uh, energy between male and female. Like that's that that center point, and that's where everything radiates out from. So if you slow down, appreciate what you have, and get some rest, you're going to feel more connected to spirit or to the divine. And that's kind of what this period of time is about too, right? As we move closer to, um, I want to say it's the solstice, we are approaching the darkest point of the year. But the interesting thing about this is much like in our own lives, as we approach that darkest point, or once we cross that threshold of the darkest point, everything begins to lighten up and become easier. Um, you're making that transition too, but you have to slow down in order for it to happen. You can't progress forward grinding it like you have been. And then lastly, we are going to do my smoky quartz people. Um, smoky quartz, you got the buffalo. Um, buffalo is this, they have this sturdiness in their slow approach to everything. They're incredibly gentle, but they're also incredibly powerful. They don't necessarily wield their power unless they have to, but sometimes they're unconscious of how much power they're exerting and that can be destructive. This is saying, be mindful of how you're using your energy um, and make sure that you're consciously making the choices that you want, right? Let's see what the Rumi Oracle card is for my smoky chords. If a tree could only walk, he would never have to fear being chopped down. So this is actually kind of saying like, you might have to take some action, um, but be mindful of it. Like, Unlike my twos, who are unlike my um, clear quartz people, smoky quartz people might have gotten a little bit too comfortable. They might have gotten a little bit too lazy, and they don't want to switch to that stampede energy of the buffalo. You do have to start moving a little bit um, so you can continue to grow. Like, that's kind of the energy of the week for you threes. Or smoky quartz. Then you have the world card. World card new beginnings like if you actually begin to take some steps and get out of this comfort zone out of this like stagnant point things are going to shift for you in a big world the world in a big way the world card is about like shifts transformation like new beginnings all of this abundance of cool things and it's fertility is the next card right um because you've rested and you've cultivated this space if you take just a little bit of action right now it's fertile ground for good things to come as a result of it. The thing is, you have to take the next step forward. I'm going to give everybody one more card. This is for everyone. Freedom came up. I feel like freedom came up yesterday or the day before, too. This is a big point of personal freedom, but you have to acknowledge it and accept it and take action upon it yourself. Nobody can do the work for you, right? And with that said, if this video is helpful, drop a like, leave a comment, all of that good stuff. I really do appreciate you, and I hope you have a blessed day. Hey, thanks again for checking out my channel. If you haven't already, subscribe by hitting the Phoenix down below and check out more of my videos over there.